now watch this one uh, what is the average turnaround time using uh, longest remaining time first so now you can see that all the arrival times are zeros right so which means all the process are directly available from the beginning and now it is up to you to choose the longest one first right and then uh, whenever uh, you know whenever uh, the burst times are same and arrival times are same then you go with the process ids which means you take the process id which is having the lowest process id right so now let's watch it so first thing is which one is the longest one in this obviously longest one is p3 right so now i'm going to schedule p3 right from zero then how long should i uh, execute it can i execute till late no because uh, in the middle itself some other process might become the longer one right therefore how long should you execute it check this if i execute it for four units then the next one will become four and there will be a tie and then tie will be broken using the process ids here therefore i have to execute it only till four so that the next one will become some other process will become the longest one right so which means i am going to execute it till four so that its remaining time will become four and now there is a tie and the tie is broken by arrival times whenever arrival times are also tied then it is broken by process id therefore p2 is going to get the next precedence right now both are having the same time then what happens p2 p3 it will alternate right then both will become 3 and 3 isn't it hmm. again both are becoming the same both are having the same time and now so both will be executed for one more time which means p2 p3 so it is uh, 7 and 8 right huh. and now see this p1 p2 p3 all the three are having the same time p1 p2 and p3 all the three are having the same time therefore all of them are going to be executed in that order so we, what is the order p1 then p2 then p3 right then they will become 1 1 1 so it is 9 10 11 right and again in the same order p1 p2 p3 p1 p2 p3 right then what do we get 12 13 14 right so this is how all the process got executed now if you watch it arrival time burst time and now we should write the completion time then we can find out the turnaround time we can find out the average of it right then what is the completion time so you should check from the ending right so you know i told you in this longest remaining time all the process will complete almost uh, closely close to each other they are like it is like a running race and everyone is having a small difference small margin it is not that one one player is losing by you know a mile so it is going to be p1 completion time is 12 and p2 completion time is 13 and p3 completion time is 14 got it therefore what is turnaround time turnaround time is completion time minus uh, arrival time so here the turnaround time is uh, 12 here and then 13 here and then 14 here they are very close isn't it then what is the average turnaround time that is what they are asking average turnaround time is 12 plus 13 plus 14 divided by 3 you do the math okay fine that is the answer you whatever is the answer you can find it out fine